Five businesses a married woman should never do. Five businesses a married woman should never venture into. You see these five businesses that I'm about to mention is not for married women. And if your wife they do any of these five businesses that I'm about to list here, your wife na shawo. She be a shower low-key because these five businesses and more exposes them to men. They meet men every day. They meet men that they cannot resist. No responsible woman will do these five businesses that I'm about to mention. If you die abroad, your wife, they do these businesses that I'm about to mention here. Number one is bar. Why will a married woman own a beer parlor? A restaurant where men come. Why will a married woman own a bar? So you as a married man, you are comfortable that your wife own a bar. A man who give you a show. In a Nigerian girl now run no bar business. She cannot resist men. Men can go out of their ways to become customers. They come every day to buy one bottle of drink, 700, 1,000. The man on one, one. Ha na ngon. The man will keep other friends here. Yeah? Hane petronize ya na will tell my your wife will not want to lose that kind of customer. So any amount that, that customer offers your wife, your wife are gonna yeah? because she doesn't want to lose customer. So this business exposes your wife to a shower. And if your wife is doing it, all a shower, she cannot deny it. Bad business, bia palo. She cannot say, oh God, don't do it again because she wants customer. She cannot afford to lose customers because customer is a Any woman who make a bar business, bar and restaurant. Any woman who make a bar and restaurant business, because there are men that will come there that she cannot resist. There are men that are more better than her husband that will come to eat. That will come to buy one bottle. So if your wife, they do beer parlor business, bar, a shawo. If you die abroad, your wife, they Nigeria, they do bar business, a shawo, a shawo losho, a shawo kromoto. Number two, real estate. You see all these married women where they go around, they do real estate businesses. Honey, le wonda a shawo. You see all these married women where they go sell land to men. They sell properties. Your wife, they do real estate business. You know, no say your wife na shawo. No responsible woman can venture into real estate business because she will know that that business is going to expose her to men. Billionaires. Billionaires will come and buy properties from your wife. Offer her 7 million or 10 million there. Why won't your wife sleep with the man? How much do you have? So a married woman should not do rala rolo and a real estate business. It exposes them to men. Men that they cannot resist. Omre customer gabian koroni that your fine wife. Zoda property. So that your wife can sleep with, with him. Yes. Omwe giji we broke man. When big men come to buy property, all this papa balawa, your wife will do everything to keep that customer. Ema. A man not only estate the corner bank. A mature no get a customer to return the customer corner be upon your bank. Yes, so your wife sleep with their customers to return them to be buying properties in the real estate. Cancel. Nda shawo. If your wife they do real estate, na shawo, a shawo olosho. Number three, boutique. So as a married man, you are comfortable that your wife owns a boutique where they only sell menswear. <laughs> Why is it that she don't want to sell the one of her gender? Yes. Your wife owns a boutique where they sell men's wear, men's footwear, everything that belongs to men, and you are comfortable. Don't you know there are rich men, big men, sugar daddies that go from one boutique to the another to look for people's wife to sleep with? A man that's You don't know. A married woman should not venture into boutique business, especially selling things for men. Sell for your gender. Or boutique to again. Sell the one for your gender. If you're a man, sell for a man or a woman. But as a married woman, you have to sell for women. Despite most of you go there, start selling for women. But that one go the aside. Sell for your gender. 
your wife where they sell boutique in the customer now because men can go out of their ways to buy one polo that your wife is selling fifteen thousand for one hundred and fifty thousand just to sleep with your wife and your wife auto you understand me the man will go and bring more customers to your wife to entice your wife buy things buy plenty things to entice your wife now Ogabena oh no not on his way from there he becomes friends from there yana mu nega ara won to yana kwota kuri am customer and your wife wouldn't want to lose that kind of person because the person buys a lot of things in her boutique so as a married man we be say your wife they say boutique no they very comfortable oh. no they very comfortable most of them na shawo <laughs> most of your wife yana na aga ara ha de ha ha process girl o shop po ga kwa short time lachita Especially you with that side country. Your wife there in Nigeria here they run boutique. Anna and your wonya show. Olo show. Number four, barbing saloon. Why will a married woman even have a male barbing saloon? Only for men. Why will a married woman wake up and tell the husband, Oh, I want to open a barbing saloon. Do you need to pay barbing saloon for men? If your wife owns a barbing saloon only for men, oh wonya show. Barbing saloon unisex, oh wonya show. These businesses exposes married women to men. Men that they cannot resist. Handsome men, fine men, rich men. Ndekagi Diego as the husband. So if your wife has a barber saloon, they cannot come to my face and tell me that I'm lying. They know. How my hair? Ronka. Nde uchanda shawo ji marriage na kovo mwe ha. Hey! Number five. Spa. So your wife owns a spa. Your wife owns a spa. Who does the happy ending? Your wife owns a spa where they do massage. So who does the happy ending? As a as a married man, begin to question things. So as a married man, where you be question a lot of things. Who does the happy happy ending? If a person comes for massage and demands for happy ending, who exactly does it? Don't you know that all these rich men that likes people's wife don't want to with their fantasy to sleep with people's wife. They enjoy it. Sleeping with people's wife is their hobby. Better life. Offer everything. So don't you know that they are men today? What they go, they go from spa to spa to look for. Ask yourself now, who does the happy ending in that massage room? Okay, when you get there, you are mad at At all, you are going to ask for your wife. You are going add money. I go do you well. So your wife owns a spa that has a massage inside there. Now, when the rich men come, they demand for the madam, the owner of the place. The owner of the place, there's a Yahuza Munyaki that is a fine woman. Massage <laughs> 30,000. The man have a quarter 300,000. The man have a quarter 300,000. Sizer Munyaki that I will want you to touch me because I feel like you know how to do this massage very well. I will pay any amount. On a batarakola, your loose wife. Munyaki name where it says, my brain on wine, the cabrain no coco. Yeah, I'm not bad. Why I can't handle three hundred thousand? Yeah, yeah. Massage the man the first day. After two weeks, the man allowed she thousand. Yeah, five hundred thousand. When you get the dongo amu, now that massage room. So if your wife owns a spa, my brother, go and close it. If your wife owns a a spa that has a, a massage room, close the massage room. Close it. It exposes that to men. They cannot come to my front and say that they don't know all these things that I'm saying. That in disguise. When all these women that owns these businesses that are just listed, they have touches of a shower in them. Especially you, whether side country, your wife they do spa. Our massage, cha. Yeah, be a no amon on elia. The man I see okay, meet me in so so hotel. The man I got where is he? I'm around to see the massage emery. Because she wants happiness. You know, yeah. So that is it. So if your wife own any of these businesses that I just mentioned, 80% of she being a shower is guaranteed. If at all she is not 100%, her chanda shower chore ludi, her lordi were marriage na cover with her. They are all under shower. Don't swear for your wife 
because she was a single girl just like me before she got married. So when I hand on on a copyright, you understand? A kiringo can never tell you her past. I'm a square lawyer. I'm a square. No, no, in marriage for hundred years, she can never tell you her past. So now we will be women. We know our fellow women. So if your wife own any of these businesses, she be a shower. I rest my case.